What is up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Stella, aka SCLA, aka Fairy Barbershop Baby. I hope that each and every one of you are having a very blessed and a beautiful day and that you are saying kind things to yourselves and to others. Before I jump into this reading, I want to let you guys know that I do have open availability for private readings. You can book with me through my email or through my Etsy shop. And without further ado, my beautiful Geminis, let's go ahead and jump right in. Jemmy Jim, how are you doing? How is your day? You enjoying the weather? It's raining here, so I am loving it. I woke up to loud thunder. Amazing, it's so good. I hope where you're at, it is beautiful and that you are staying hydrated and you are loving yourself. Okay, Jemmy Gems, let's go ahead and shuffle these cards and see what is up, what is good. How are my Geminis? Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. May these messages be divinely led and by you alone. May close any door that is not of you. Archangel Gabriel, Michael, Uriel, Raphael, Metatron, you are welcome here. Any ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, working in the fifth dimension of unconditional love, unconditional love only that would like to be in this reading, you are also welcome here. So I'm noticing a very, like a stillness. There's just this content, it feels like it feels really pure it feels really like calm it feels like you've been through a lot and now you're finally at this place of surrender of peace of joy it feels very very comfortable you know very comfortable so we have the two of cups with the sun in reverse here so I'm seeing that you could be thinking about love a lot. You could be thinking about past relationships. You could be thinking about marriage, connection, community, how to connect with people again, how to communicate with people, how to just really dive in that, okay, we have the fool on the bottom of the deck, really just fall deep in love with life again. Because I feel like Gemini, we've been through a lot. There's just been a lot of healing taking place for all people, you know what I mean? But like... I am a Gemini, so I understand the Gemini journey that we're on right now. It's a lot of the duality between ourselves and the masculine, the energy of the feminine, and just life in general, the quarantine, all of that. It's just been so much. It's been so much. And so we really got our boats rocked, you know what I mean? And I feel like now you're finally like comfortable everything is kind of like secure it's falling into place everything is connecting again and now you're like open to receiving and expressing a love and not just in a romantic way but like with friendships you know with friendships with community specifically relationships that's coming up though i see that you might have some regrets about a past relationship with this sun card and you could be really feeling that you could be really thinking about that a lot right now so we have in this deck over here these two kind of just like slipped out I love these cards these are some of my shadow cards so they be getting in your business more than this deck does this deck is so abrasive sometimes I'll be like oh my god okay this <laughs> I thought I saw the six of Pentacles I did see the six of Pentacles when I was meditating earlier but that was in my own personal meditation so I feel like now that I'm actually talking about it a spirit is kind of leading me to um, express that energy. The Six of Pentacles is equal give and take and it's about finances, it's about career, but it's also about energy and compassion and love and moving to a place where your energy is being reciprocated and you're also open to receiving that energy where you're not blocked off from that energy and you're just giving and giving and giving and being left on E, being left on empty. So opening your heart up, being willing to receive, right? We're experiencing this great heart opening ceremony right here on earth. The collective is experiencing this where our hearts are just being pushed open. You know what I mean? Um, what I think it was Rumi. Rumi said, your heart is going to continue to be broken until it's open. And I really resonated with that. That was so beautiful. That statement alone, I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. You know, your heart is going to continue to be broken until it's open. And once your heart is open, it can never be broken because the understanding that you have for all life is so compassionate and f like fulfilling on its own. You know what I mean? You can't be broken if you're a whole. You can't be 
broken down any more than what God will lead you to, right? Because once you're broken down to a certain point, all you have is surrender. All you have is acceptance. You can choose whether or not you're going to be disappointed or you can choose to just accept and allow. And eventually when your heart is broken so many times, some of us become bitter, but some of us become great because we understand that it made us better. We chose to seek the lessons in those hard times rather than the disappointment to last forever. So we have look through the mist, find the mystery, start anew, begin again. So we're entering into this very new, beautiful chapter, Gemini, where we're just in our element of acceptance, of allowing, of finding the kingdom of God within, right? Which is never needing anything, never going without, always having exactly what you need, exactly when you need it, right? Perfect timing, divine timing. Trusting the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide you and to never lead you astray and to protect you and to only do work that is in your best interest and in the interest of the collective, right? Not working yourself to the bone, not working yourself to the grave, not working yourself for a paycheck just to get by. It's about love and compassion and doing what you love and adding value to this world in ways that are received on both ends right it adds value to you and it adds value to the people and it's not just selfish you know there's a whole lot of sacrificial energy when it comes to living in the kingdom of god when it comes to breathing that acceptance and allowing the love and the joy that is already existing around you to come in and to trust it and to feel safe within that peace that surpasses all understanding only comes from the holy spirit only comes from divine connection. So I feel like Gemini, we're breaking down the barriers. We're releasing the past of always needing to be in that masculine energy of leading, of dominating, of, you know, I have to go get this uh, money. I have to work really hard for it, you know, otherwise I won't eat X, Y, Z. Visualize healing. Okay, so this is that energy of being calm, being collect, being still, embracing what is, accepting what is. Because the more you accept what is, the more beauty you start to see, the more movement starts to happen, right? When we release that control, when we release that nature of being a perfectionist, when we release it and we hand our fears and our anxieties and our worries over, and all that's left is just joy and abundance and peace. Things are so different. Things are so beautiful. We have run wild for a while. Okay. And then break free, regain your youth and fly. Gemini, this energy is really, really beautiful. Okay. This is so beautiful. So the stillness that we're feeling is so well deserved. You know, everybody deserves it, right? All of us deserve it, but everybody has their turn. Everybody has their place. Everybody can welcome themselves into this energy, but not everybody does. Not everybody does that hard work, that shadow work. Not everybody goes within and heals their trauma, releases their wounds, faces their fears head on. Not everybody does that, but everybody should. And when you do, you get this well-earned, deserved peace that was guaranteed to you as a birthright but was rejected for most of your life because you did not know. You did not know who you were. You did not know what was out there. You did not know your purpose. You did not know your mission, but now you do. And nothing can stop that. Nothing can break you free from that. Your focus is so direct that every time you think about doing something else, it's, well, I can't. There is nothing else. This is it. This is my purpose. I, there is nothing else. So I have to see it to its end, see it to its fruition and enjoy it and embrace it. And Holy Spirit is so happy about that, you know, because this is a gift. Your vision, your heart, your love, your joy, everything that you give to the world, your time, your energy, your voice, your power was a gift. And for that gift to go to, go to waste, doing something in vain, living in this selfish, greed way, it's a waste, you know? All of that beauty, all of that intelligence, all that grace, why waste it? Why waste this life that is so pure and so free we got it for free this all of this everything is free and yet we still take advantage of it yet we still take it for granted yet we still spend our hours our times our days our nights sitting in these mindsets that are not self-serving that are not serving for anybody for what because it's comfortable it's safe but why is that more safe than truth 
And the truth is that everything is okay. Everything is fine. Everything always works out. All wounds heal in all due time. Right? So it's beautiful, right? And I feel that. I definitely feel this calm, beautiful energy coming off of this reading. I think this is probably one of the first readings that I'm not yelling at you guys. <laughs> My normal tone of voice is just very exciting and overwhelming. I think this is the first time maybe in any reading besides the ones when I first started where I feel quiet and calm and collect and it's amazing and it's beautiful and thank you for sharing this joy and for sharing your light and for being here on earth and just being the divine being of love and light that you are and for trusting in the process and for trusting in yourself and for having confidence in yourself to continue moving forward and for having faith in God to continue moving forward. It's so beautiful. It's so amazing. And I thank you so much for being here today here on earth for joining me on my YouTube channel and sharing this beautiful connection, this love, this light. And most of all, I just thank you for being alive, just for choosing life, for choosing you. Gemini, that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this reading. I hope that it found you well and that it resonated. If it did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you guys would like to book with me or leave a donation to this channel, all of that information is also down below. And without further ado, my beautiful Geminis, I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace, love, and light. Bye!